Saba. This is the Meslana Museum, which houses the tomb of Rumi, the 13th century uh, poet and mystic who lived in Konya here. Unfortunately, the museum closes at 4.40 p.m. and it is 4.49 right now. I missed it by like 10 minutes. I just kind of rushed over here to uh, capture a bit of Konya while I have the chance because I am flying to Istanbul tomorrow and I basically just came here to uh, stay for a couple of nights and get ready for the flight and was doing laundry and getting various uh, things done today but I'm glad that I made it into the city center and got to see this uh, historic site of the museum and the Salimie Mosque built in 1570. You can see right there Sultan Salim. Kami means mosque 1570. And the main square here and a building that uh, almost looks like it was damaged in that uh, earthquake, although that didn't happen uh, in this area, but unfortunately that is what things look like in Izmir right now. Many buildings just crumbled. I was in that area about six days before the earthquake struck and was considering going to Izmir from Kushadasi where I went to see the ruins of Ephesus and was seriously thinking about going up to Izmir and visiting there and luckily decided to uh, change plans and drive across Turkey to Cappadocia with my rental car and then uh, booked a flight here to return the car. I'm now going to walk through the uh, streets here and there's this cool looking monument, sort of an arch kind of a thing at a park that is a 20 minute walk away. So I'm just going to head in that direction and see what we see in the uh, process of wandering around this uh, interesting city that I know very little about. Not a popular tourist destination, maybe for uh, Turks, but uh, as far as foreign uh, travelers, whirling dervishes. Where I'm heading is down there, that hill, but I uh, wanted to show this market across the street, looks pretty cool. Various sweets. Marhaba. And so I don't really have a whole lot to say about uh, Konya. I wasn't planning on doing a, a real tour of the city, so I'm basically just going to walk and show what it looks like. One thing is I thought that I would do a recap of my whole uh, trip in Turkey. I've been here for lost track, like five or six weeks or so now. It's been an absolutely incredible trip. So I flew into Dalaman Airport on the Turquoise Coast, or the uh, Turkish Riviera. And from there took a bus to Aludanis, a uh, nice little, very touristy beach spot. Stayed there for 11 days, kind of catching up with my uh, video editing from the uh, Balkans. Here we have a uh, model of some sort of pretty epic looking castle or something. And then from Aludanese, I took a bus over to Kash, a very, very lovely uh, beach uh, town on the turquoise coast as well. 
stayed there for six nights or something and then rented a car thinking of just driving to Antalya and dropping it there. And so I drove to Antalya, stopped at Olympos Beach, and then got to Antalya and from there decided to keep the car longer and I went to the ancient uh, Greco-Roman ruins of Sede and Espendos, absolutely phenomenal. And then decided to go back towards Aludines to Fethiae because there were these rock-cut tombs above the city that I hadn't seen and I hadn't seen Fethiae as well. And also I wanted to see various things in Western Turkey. So I did a uh, late night or late evening uh, drive from Aspendos over to Fethiye and arrived late at night. And then stayed there for a couple of nights. Then went to Dalyan, a very nice, uh, pleasant town on a river close to the beach, but uh, not right on the beach. And they also have rock cut tombs there that were really cool. Just visited for the day and then continued driving and went to Marmaris, a classic ultra touristy beach resort city further west. Stayed there a few days. Drove out to Dacha for the day. A lovely little town on a peninsula right across from the Greek islands. And then from Marmaras drove north up to Kushadasi, a nice little town that is near the Greco-Roman uh, ruined city of Ephesus. And Kushadasi was even closer to the epicenter of the earthquake than Izmir. I don't think that Kushadesi suffered as much damage as Izmir because I know a guy that was actually there. He was in my video about Ephesus at the end there. One of my viewers that uh, recognized me and I ended up hanging out and talking with for a while and uh, later he said that he had been in Kushadesi when the earthquake hit. Many, many mosques in this city here. And then from Kuchadesi, I decided to do a big drive halfway across Turkey and go back to Cappadocia and explore it some more. There's always more to see there. Let's do a quick little uh, detour, see if this is a market up ahead. And I spent eight days in Cappadocia and then drove here uh, yesterday, and that's my trip. Okay, not exactly a uh, traditional market. Looks like just clothes, which I need. It's starting to get cold. The uh, thing is I'm not sure where I'm gonna be. Next, I'm not sure if I should bother buying a bunch of new uh, warm clothes if I'm going to go somewhere warm next. I'm figuring out my plans. And so it is Aladdin Hill, and this is Aladdin Boulevard. But before I head up there, there's a lot to see over here. 
So I think that must be Aladdin Hill. The uh, center of the city. And so I think that I just walked up this street here and where I started is actually off the map. So that is that. So there's a lot more to the city. All right, let's uh, go check out this park. Some of the uh, cities sort of nearby. There it says Afyan Karahisar. That's one place that I went to that I forgot to mention. Stopped there for the night and definitely one of my favorite uh, Turkish cities. I'd never heard of it before. And it was very interesting, very authentic. Looks like a pretty old entryway here. And look at that thing. That's a relic of history. Great view here. From the mosque and some old remnants of, I'm guessing, Greco-Roman ruins. Okay, what have we got here? Can't quite tell what uh, language that is, if that is even writing. Let's get a closer look at that uh, big hunk of rock. So I don't know why they're almost trying to hide this thing. I guess maybe it is a uh, site that is in renovation phase or something. It looks like the lighter colored thing on top is a modern creation. I looked online trying to uh, get some info about it but I didn't find anything. It was all in Turkish. So, not sure but it looks like the remains of a castle or something. And so, I never quite saw the arch thing that I was expecting to see. Maybe that was it. Or maybe it's on the other side or something, but I'm going to make my way back towards my hotel where I got an epic room for, I think, 29 bucks a night. 
one of the best deals ever for uh, such a nice room. A quick room tour. Look at that, pretty sweet. Pardon the mess. And a separate bedroom. Not bad for 29 bucks a night, breakfast included. Not sure what's going on here. It's an odd mix of like Fultons and astronauts. recognize where I am because I use that ATM machine right there so my hotel is just a couple of blocks this way and I needed to get some cash yesterday so I came over here and tried an ATM it's right over here and it was doing the usual attempt to scam total scam in my opinion of offering to do the conversion rate rather than allowing my bank to convert the uh, cash from lira into US dollars. I made a couple of videos about this and it is just pervasive. And it was going to charge me like an extra 40 bucks for no advantage other than the convenience of charging me in my own currency, which means nothing. That's completely useless. The uh, ATM right there. Let's go uh, confirm which one you want to avoid. Vacif Bank. Now that actually wasn't the problem. I mean, that was the first thing. But then I said no. That's all you got to do is say no to the currency conversion. But then after I declined the conversion offer, it was trying to charge me a fee of 80 Turkish Lira, which is 10 bucks. And that is just outrageous. And so I decided to try another ATM, walked over to that other place and tried another one there. Again, it tried to uh, scam me with the conversion offer, decline, and then I got my cash with no charge, no ATM fee at all. Double checked my uh, bank statement and I wasn't charged a ATM fee. So. If you are trying to get uh, your cash and they're trying to charge you too much, then just try a different ATM. And very often then another one right next to the one that you just tried won't charge you a ATM withdrawal fee. And as always, when it offers to convert the money, then it is trying to scam you. Say no, decline. Your bank will do the conversion at a much more fair rate. And here is my hotel, Hotel Berra. Highly recommend it. Bit of a walk from the uh, center of things, but uh, an absolutely amazing deal. I caught a taxi over there from here. It cost 20 lira, or like $2.50. All right, that is it for Kanya. Tomorrow, Istanbul. 
and I don't even know where I'm going after that, so we shall see. All right, later.